Right, so here are the shocks on this BMW. It has EDC, electronic dampening control, and there is the connector. That is the telltale sign of how you know that your shocks are the electronic version or the EDC version. So here is the connector. It's on all four of the shocks, and my shocks are now very old. In fact, one is leaking oil onto the floor. I'm not going to change it with these same shocks. I'm going to use regular shocks, which means I'm going to have to override the system. Right, so here is the screen inside the car. You can actually see there it says EDC. If I turn my car on, there's the option. I can choose sports mode. I can change it to comfort. It only has those two modes. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch the car off. And you can see the EDC goes off there. How it works is when it's off, the shocks are basically at their firmest. And what happens is when the car is switched on, it automatically goes into the most comfortable position. The shocks, there's a voltage potential that is applied to all the four shocks. And at about five kilometers an hour, the shocks start to have that dynamic characteristic, which looks at your EDC, looks at your steering angle, looks at your speed. I think there's an accelerometer. Anyway, so after looking at all that information, it controls the dampening of the shocks. Now I'm going to have to forego that. And what I'm going to show in this video is how to get rid of that EDC module. And then I'll also have to do some coding. The first step I'm going to do is just connect my laptop to my car and quickly just clear errors and have a look-see Right, just for your reference, I'm using a DCAN cable. There it is. It's connected to my laptop via USB. And what I'm going to do now is use input to just check some errors. And then I'm going to walk you through the steps. Right, so this is VirtualBox. And all I'm doing is I'm using VirtualBox to get to NCS Expert because I run it on a Windows XP machine. You can, uh, you can actually do this using Windows 10. I have done it but I haven't got that laptop with me, so I'm just using this one, and it works fine. Right, so here is my software which I'm going to use, and before I do anything, I'm just gonna go into INPA, and I'm gonna to connect to the car. I'm just gonna put the power on there. It should come on, the ignition should come on. There we go, and make sure that if you are doing any coding, that your battery is fully charged and if you've got a battery charger even better a high current battery charger All right so in this case it's e65 functional jobs and i'm just going to quickly read the error memory and there you can see uh, there isn't much there and that is because i've cleared it the other day so i'm just going to clear it again and I'm going to clear the internal memory, the history memory. Now, why I'm doing this is I just want to make sure that once I do the coding, uh, that I'm not going to keep on getting errors. So at least I've got a reference that at least I know that all the errors were cleared before I did this activity. Now, the way to do this is you're going to need to open NCS Expert. There it is. But before I do that, I need to disable the control unit. So right now, I'm going to now disconnect from my car. So I'm actually going to shut this down. And I'm now going to go to the module and actually unplug it. Right, so there's my laptop. It's disconnected from the car. Note the car is completely off. And on the E65, the EDC module is actually sitting behind the cubbyhole glove compartment, whatever you want to call it. Now, this is a right-hand drive car, so mine is going to be on the left-hand side because my steering wheel is on the right-hand side. Now, if you want to remove the uh, glove compartment, there's a couple of screws along there. There's a bigger screw at the back there and another one there, and they're all Torx. But it's actually possible to get to the module from underneath. So I'm here where the footwell is and uh, here there's a little foot light anyway there's a screw over here there's another one in the corner anyway there's four screws so once you've removed those four screws here are the four screws just star head then just unplug this globe there that globe is unplugged and now i can just remove this out of my way right so i'm coming in from the bottom i'm just moving these wires out of the way and they're above it which is basically behind the fuse holder. 
uh, there's a bunch of there's a fuse bank there now it's behind that so i find it's easier to get here from underneath but you need to have like almost thin fingers but anyway so there are two connectors there's one and there's one on the right hand side now i've already released the one on the left and all you need to do is there's a lip that has to be pushed down in order to move the black slider now that black slider goes like that but you can only do that if you first depress the little lip there so there we go i'm able to remove this and there's that uh, little lip that you have to push down in order to get the black slider to rotate round now the next one is this one now this cover it's got like a rectangular cover that encapsulates the connector it has to be slid backwards or actually to the right there are some grooves on the right hand side where you can actually put your fingers and slide it back right so it should be seen that i've slid it back a little bit and i'm going to now slide it back fully and when you slide it back it automatically comes out of the connector so it requires quite a bit of force to get that out so that's what it looks like and this is the piece that has to slide and you can see that this thing is what slides right so now it's disconnected from the module the two connectors are disconnected right now that your unit is unplugged it's time to do the coding reconnect your laptop and load up ncs expert and get the idea bus running so i go to ncs expert i say file i say load the profile then i say f1 f3 choose the chassis the cas i say back I then say process ECU and in this case I'm processing two ECUs it is sim so I say okay I change the job I say coder data lesson I say okay and then I say execute the job now I'll go to my work folder here if I just have a look here and I say control F and I look for EDC comes up there and it says active and if i do another search you'll see that's the only thing so i need to change this to not active now you can use ncs dummy if you find it easier to do this so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to choose that that was the sim so i'm just going to choose the sim module here in the e65 it's the sim okay let's just choose co4 all right and i'm just going to do a search i'm going to say edc enter and there it is it's active now i'm going to make it not active nicht active nicht active and you see it says the electronic damper control installed so i just say export it to the man file all it's doing is it's changing the active to nicht active you could just copy that phrase and swap it uh, anyway so all i need to do now is i say change job because now i want to say sg coderen and I'll say OK and I'll say execute the job. Now I've coded the one module. Now I've just got one more to code. That is the combi because I don't want to get an error on my dash area. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to exit now. And I'm going to go back into NCS Expert. I'm going to say file, load profile, F1, F3, E65, OK, F6 which ecu do we want we want combi there it is i'm going to say change the job i want to read the data and i'm going to execute it now i can go to ncs dummy and i can pick up that file why i like ncs dummy is it makes it uh, foolproof you can't make mistakes here you see if i say search there it is it says it's active look at the line it's a live counter for electronic damper control there it says edck alive and if i just go and show you in the uh, in the trace file over here if i do a search control f and i say edc there it is edck alive timer and no then if i do a search another search you'll see there it is edck alive zela and there you see it's active right so we want to make it nicked active if you wanted to be quicker, you could just copy that and paste it under the EDC line. Right, so I'm going to now uh, export NICT Active. So there we go. And now I just go to NCS Expert and I just say change the job and I'll say SG Coderen 
and then I'll say okay and now I'll say execute the job. Right there you go it's done. Now you can install regular non-EDC shocks and you won't get any errors. Thanks for watching and cheers.